The Kaaba is astronomically aligned. There's a lot of people that don't know that. The Kaaba is astronomically aligned to the star Suhail. Suhail is called Canopus. It's in the constellation of Carina. Now, interestingly enough, spacemen, astronauts, don't use the North Star when they go out of the Earth's orbit. They use Suhail. It's the star that they use to make sure that they're on course when they get out into the heaven. The Kaaba is Methaba. It's a sacred place. It's a sanctuary. It's called Al-Haram. Haram means sanctuary. You know what the Turks called their houses? They had two places in the house. One was called Salamlek and the other was called Haramlek. Salamlek was where you greeted people. They came in, it's the place of Salam. Haramlek was the sanctuary. That was where the family resided. In, in the West they call it Harim and they have all these fantasies about it. The truth is, there's no fantasy. They were just people in obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that's what's so mysterious to the Western people. What were they doing in the Haram? They were worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala even when they were under the covers. They were worshipping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those people were in a state of harmony with the heavens. And that's what it is. We've been given a mandate from heaven. One of the great Chinese scholars of Islam wrote a seerah of the Prophet Muhammad and talked about during one of the Chinese dynasties, the emperor sent a delegation of Chinese to Medina. And they met with Sayyidina Umar radiallahu anhu. And Sayyidina Umar said to them, go back to your emperor and tell him that the mandate from heaven has come once again to the earth and it's time for you to realign yourselves with that mandate. He was speaking in the language of the Confucians to the people of Confuji. Because Confucius said that the world is here in order for us to bring heaven to the earth. As above, so below.